Hi everyone. It's so good to have you here. And I have been waffling about this video for the better part of a week. I intended originally to record most Fridays and I think probably realistically I'll be recording a little less often than that. And part of that is because I just don't know what to say to you. <laughs> I have so many ideas. I have so many thoughts. I have so much that's like interwoven and interconnected in my head. And I'm not entirely sure how to manage all of that, which is a kind of a classic intensive problem. I also am trying a brand new experiment, which is another kind of classic intensive problem, right? I'm like, oh, I'll just sit down and do this recording. And now like an hour and a half later, I have two pieces of new software and I'm trying to figure out if it's possible to live stream these because I kind of prefer the live streaming format, which is not a thing I expected. I have historically been somebody who really loved things to be kind of orderly and predictable to a point, right? Not in an expansive way, but in a, I'm scared to death of the stage. And so I want to make sure that I can plan out every little tiny bit of this process. Mm -hmm. This is a pandemic. All bets are off. And I really enjoy the interactive quality of live streaming. So at some point, I will probably figure out live streaming with this new camera software rig situation. Meanwhile, I have been thinking about adulting. I've been thinking a lot of things about adulting because, um, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time with people who are doing personal development work and people who are doing like self-improvement work of various kinds. I myself have written a book that's probably shelved under self-help more often than anything else. Um, that book is, of course, called You're Not Too Much, and it's about how to like yourself better and how to function better in a world that's not designed for you. But one of the pieces of fallout of, of the entire world being the way it is right now and the way it has been for like the last 10 years is the development of this idea called adulting. So if by some chance you're not familiar with it, Adulting is this word that we use. I found out recently that it used to be used as like a shorthand for adultery. That is not what I mean. Adulting, the way it's used now, especially in social media, is this idea that I'm going to do grown up tasks, but they're kind of foreign and hard for me. And here's the kicker. They shouldn't be. Grown up tasks. I'm a grown up. I should be able to use these. Okay, fine. But they shouldn't be hard. So adulting tasks include laundry and dishes and making your bed and folding your clothes and um, doing your taxes. And it used to include balancing your checkbook. Now your computer does that. Excellent. Excellent. So here's the thing. You're not less of an adult because you don't have to balance your checkbook by hand or because in the days when that was necessary, you would have just ignored it. That doesn't make you less of an adult. It doesn't make you less of a person. It doesn't make you less competent. It doesn't make you less good. It doesn't make you less fruitful. It doesn't make you less productive. It doesn't make you less of any of those things. You are a whole adult right now the way you are. Let me say that again. You are a whole adult right now the way you are. You do not need to be more organized. You do not need to be tidier. You do not need to be anything other than who you are to be a full adult. In the past, the way those adulting tasks got done is there were people who were totally dedicated to doing those adulting tasks. In the 1950s, it was mostly housewives, bless all of them. And before that, it was some women of the house, but in upper classes, of course, it was the, it was the serving class, the people who did service work that often took care of these adulting tasks. They were the ones who polished the boots, did the laundry, folded the laundry, ironed the laundry, right? All of those tasks got done by someone else. You are not failing because you cannot be four people. Right now, especially with the economy the way it is, there's this overwhelming sense that we should all be able to do more. We should all be doing more. 
And the way we should do that is, I don't know, right? Like nobody got extra hours in their day. Everybody's still operating with 168 hours a week. Nobody got like extra arms as far as I know. None of us are like Indian goddess, Hindu goddess shaped. We're just not. We're all the same kinds of humans with the same amount of time and the same amount of energy that we've had for basically thousands of years. The demands on our time have increased. The expectations that we do things by ourselves have increased tremendously. So now we live in a world where we're all supposed to do basically a full-time job's worth of housekeeping and homemaking simultaneously a full-time job outside of that, a full-time like capitalism job that earns money. And if there's like a kid in the picture, that's another full-time job. We don't have time. We don't have energy to do all of these things. So what you're doing when you're not adulting is you're actually prioritizing. That's right. You're choosing what's important and you're letting everything else slide. And that's fine. That's actually good. That's really smart because the other alternative is burnout and that is not fine and not good and not smart. Adulting is not a thing. Having too many tasks in your day is totally a thing. Having to decide which ones you prioritize, absolutely a thing. But adulting is not a thing. Life administration, eh, yeah, I could get behind that. But it's not a question of whether you're an adult or not. This term, adulting, gives us the idea that somehow people who don't do those particular kinds of tasks, and it's typically um, it's typically the harder ones, it's typically the, the more routine ones, um, the things that, that aren't as interesting, right? You're not failing by deciding that doing the dishes is less important than playing with your child. You are not failing by deciding that taking a bath is more important than making your bed. Like, don't make your bed. It's fine. Nobody gets hurt if you don't make your bed. If you can't do your dishes for a long period of time, your sink will begin to smell bad. Ask me how I know. So you might need to come up with some tactics to kind of make it possible to fit these tasks in around other tasks, but you're still not failing if you haven't figured out those tactics yet or if you don't use them consistently. You're just a human with too many tasks on your plate. You're just a human who can't do three full-time jobs in one 24-hour period and still sleep. And sleep is really important. There's a whole book about it. It's really like terrifying and fascinating to look into the research on how important sleep is and if books and research aren't your game, then check out the Nat Ministry because the Nat Ministry is another like wonderful source on why rest is so important. But getting back to the topic, you're not failing if you're not adulting. What you're doing is making priority decisions, which is in fact very adult, in order to live the life that you have to best serve the needs of yourself and the people around you with the mental and physical resources that are available to you. Some people have more mental resources. Some people have more physical resources. Some people have different mental resources. There are people for whom little rudimentary tasks are really easy. If they are successfully doing those things, great. There are people for whom figuring out how to fit things together and switching tasks is really easy. If that's not you, that's fine. If they are succeeding, that's great too. Like, it's good that there are people who are good at that, but that doesn't mean that if you're not good at it, you're failing. You're not. You're not failing. You're fine. You're doing great. You're actually doing great. You're making the priority decisions that allow you to wake up in the morning, go through your day, and go to sleep at night. And if you have something like depression, if you have something like anxiety, and that means that you wake up, but you like can't get out of bed, or you wake up and you can get out of bed, but you have a really hard time getting food, or you wake up and you get out of bed and you get the food, but then you can't clean the dishes, that's also 
okay, you are still being a full human and a full adult just the way you are. Just the way you are. You don't have to change anything for your existence to be real and good and valid. Who you are right now is just fine. The things you can do right now are just fine. And if you need help or support or collaboration or complaining on Facebook or asking for support on Twitter, if you need any of those things or good music or a phone call with a friend in order to get some of the basic tasks done, you have not failed. You are not less than. You are not in any way, bad or wrong, for not being able to adult, which is to say, for not being able to do certain kinds of tasks easily. And there is no shame in getting help, and there is no shame in getting support. Even if that support, I will tell you, I can't tell you how many times I have gotten a friend on the phone in order to get out of my chair and do something, in order to get my dishes done, in order to get my laundry done. I can't tell you how many times I've had a basket of laundry just sitting around. There's a basket of laundry right now in my bedroom waiting for me to put it away. When will I put it away? Probably the next time I get on the phone with a friend. I'll just putter around. It'll be easier because the the friend keeps my brain occupied in a way that allows my body to move into routine tasks. It's a hack. It works. It's okay. And there are dozens and dozens of those woven into my life so that I can function. It's all okay. It's all good. You're good. You're good. Just the way you are, you're good. And if you need a little bit of a hack and you haven't found it yet, and so something's not quite working, that doesn't make you bad. It doesn't make you less than. You are still good. You are still a full human adult. And you deserve the full title of adult, such as it is. You don't have to do everything to qualify for humanity. Adulting is not a thing. Adulting is not a thing, and you're doing fine. That's what I need to say. Thank you so much for being here. Like, subscribe, invite your friends, um, and we'll find out what else I have to say. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here.